Hello, everyone. Welcome to the first ever Causas Meet Asia, messaging and streaming everywhere. I'm Jennifer Huang. I'll kick off the event today, introduce the rising of Apache Pulsa with exciting news and updates. And then I will hand it over to our Pulsa PMC member, Si Jie Gu, for the keynote this morning. First, I'd like to thank Stream Native for hosting the great event. Thank everybody for joining us today. I'd like to thank our sponsors. Our sponsors include Yahoo Japan, O'Reilly, Tuya, Tencent Messaging Q, China Mobile, CSDN, and Microsoft Asia. Our community partner include Dolphin Schedule, Kaiyuan She, Apache Software Foundation, Apache Local Community, Flink Forward, Skyworking, TidyB Community, Cloud Native Community, API 6, Cloud Native Technology Community. Our media partner include Segment Vault, Jijin, OS China, and the EPUB IT community. Without your support, we couldn't make it happen, so we strongly encourage everyone to have a deep learning of our sponsors. You can visit their booths in our helping event platform. Next, let me introduce and give thanks to our program committee. They help to ensure the following two days with good quality talks and sessions. Our program committee include Si Jie, Matthew, Jia, Penghui, Ben, Dao, Najomi, De Zhi, Jerry, and Vincent. Thank you very much for putting your time and efforts. Last but not least, I'd like to give our great thanks to all our speakers. Thank you very much for sharing your Pulsar stories, deep technologies, and expertise for all of us. We strongly encourage everyone to have a deep learning of all of those speakers. You can connect with them in our hobby networking or in our Pulsar, our Pulsar Summit Slack channel. You can also find their contacts on our Pulsar Summit website and you can find it in the Hopping Event platform as well. And now I'd like to introduce the rising of Apache Pulsar. Apache Pulsar is a cloud native and distributed messaging and event streaming platform. It was originally de developed inside Yahoo as a messaging platform in 2012. It supports Yahoo's mail, balance, sports, ads, and other systems. In 2016, Yahoo open source Pulsar and then migrated Pulsar to Apache Software Foundation in 2017. In 2018, Pulsar graduated as a top level project leader, and in early 2019, Pulsar met Stream Native and began its journey in adoption and diversity. And this year, in 2020, Pulsa further enriches its ecosystem. Currently, we have more than 30 connectors of loaders and the protocol handlers like AOP, KOP, and MOP. With the Stream Native Cloud, Pulsa as a service becomes reality. Next, I will introduce the rising of Apache Pulsa in different aspects. First, let's have a look at the Pulsar growth in adoption. In 2018, Pulsar has fewer users like Verizona Medium, Yahoo Japan, and later Zhenian Zhaoping. And now, more and more companies are using Pulsar. You see, like Splunk, Overage Cloud, Iterable, iPen, Bingo, Tencent, China Mobile, China Telephone, they are all using Pulsar. And we believe that more and more people and companies will use Pulsar in the near future. We can also have the Pulsar growth in the number of contributors. In 2018, when Pulsar was graduated the top level project, it has less than 50 contributors. And last November, we have 117 contributors. 
and now we have over 330 contributors. You see, the number of contributors also increased 10 more times. When you see the GitHub stars for this project, when Pausa graduated at the top level project in 2018, it has fewer than 2,000 GitHub stars. And now the project stars is fast approaching 7,000. You see, the number of stars also increased five more times. You may wonder how many people download and use Pulsar. Can you imagine? It's more than 10 million. Yes, you are correct. It's more than 10 million. You see that, oh, so many people download and use Pulsar. Yes, more and more people are interested in POSA and they want to learn POSA and use POSA. And we believe this number will become bigger and bigger in the near future. Except for those numbers, POSA also grows in community diversity. In 2018, POSA has only some code documentation and hosts two Apache POSA meetups. Last year, except the code, we further enriched our documentation project. Now our documentation are not only in English, we also enabled Chinese, German, French, Korean, and Japanese. If you are interested in those projects, feel free to contact with us. Last year, we hosted five Apache Pulsa meetups, co-hosted more meetups with other community, and present our talks in more than 20 more conferences and meetups. We work closely with our community users and developers. And last year, contributed eight more success stories and 50 more technical blogs. All of those content are of high good quality. And this year, in 2020, except those, we also add web paper and run weekly TGIP, both in English and in Mandarin. Every two weeks, we would host an online panel discussion and to discuss the new features, updates, features, and roadmaps of POSA with our developers in the community. Every month, we run a webinar with our partners to enhance POSA relationship with other community. According to last year's user survey, it is extremely hard to find talent with the POSA skill. So this year, we also launched professional trainings and we will further enhance this area soon. The biggest event this year we host is that we launched two global conferences. One is the Pulsa Summit virtual conference in June. And the other one is the one you are attending now. And next year in 2021 and the upcoming years, we will try our best to build a more and more diverse community. The diverse community could not happen without your support. So we strongly encourage everyone to get involved. You can be involved in different ways. You can join Pulsar Select channel to discuss different areas in different channels. For example, you can connect with the fellow attendees and the speakers in real time in Pulsar Smith channel. You can also post and search Pulsar related jobs in the job board channel. If you want to learn more about upcoming webinars, product releases, case studies, and more, you can join our Pulsar Summit newsletter list. Follow Apache Pulsar on Twitter, LinkedIn, and other social mediums. If you use WeChat, you can scan this QR to join our Pulsar WeChat groups and discuss questions with our developers. And then I will introduce the conference. For this Pulsar Summit Asia, we have over 40 speakers covering about 60 different sessions. 
more than 100 people from more than 300 companies sign up this event, and now they are attending this event with you together. We ran the conference in two days with three different tracks. The live streaming is both available in Hopin and Bilibili. Each day we began the conference with different keynotes. Our keynotes cover community growth, convergence messaging, streaming, and storage, 270 release, POSA as a service, function mesh, and the journey to a good contributor. After the keynotes, we'll add a new session, Ask Me Anything. This session is both available in Mandarin and in English. You can ask anything related to POSA, and our PMC members, Sijie, Jia, and Penghui will answer your questions. After this session, it's our breakout sessions. We have many sessions during this time. You can find the full schedule on our POSA Summit website. You may wonder, how I, how I, uh, there are so many sessions, I must miss something. Don't worry, we will make record and share it to YouTube and Bilibili after the submit, so you won't miss anything. Each day, we enter the POSA submit with happy hour and honor time. During this time, we would select the best contributors, best use cases, and give them a word. Join us and say congratulations to them. For the three different tracks, we have different moderators. Dian Jin, Ji Pei, and me, Jennifer, will be your moderators. If you have any, or any question or concern, feel free to contact us. We will try our best to support you. This year, we run POSA user survey and would write an annual report based on the result and then share it with our community. Your feedback is very important and helps shape what POSA will be in the future. So we strongly encourage everyone to participate in this survey. You can just click this link or scan this QR and then share your feedback. I'm excited, to, I'm excited to introduce the Stream Native Ambassador Program. It's POSA's first ever ambassador program. It's a great opportunity to work directly with POSA PMCs, top contributors, and advocate and develop your POSA local community in your own city. Are you interested in the ambassador program? It will be launched soon in January 2021. So if you are interested, contact with us at with the stream uh, ambassador at streamnative.io.org email address and we will give you response soon. This year we host two POSA summit. One is in North America, another one is in Asia, and next year we will host three POSA summits. Except North America and Asia, we will also launch POSA summit in Europe. Looking forward to seeing you again at our next POSA summit. Now I will hand it over to our PMC member, Si Jie Guo. Thank you.